What up, my niggas? Nigga, nigga, nigga. The definition of the word nigga was a lazy person with no self-respect, no regard for family, ignorant, stupid, slow moving, did not speak proper English and had childlike qualities. Black Americans started using the word nigga to refer to themselves in the late 1920s. Then the 60s came and the black power movement was in full effect. Black is beautiful, say it loud. The followers of the movement referred to themselves as brother and sister, denouncing the use of the word nigger. Today, the black American community is split on the use of the word. As some of us make an attempt to redefine the word and use it in our everyday vocabulary, while others feel historically the word is so negative it should be stamped out altogether. I'm not here to promote, encourage, or dignify the use, nor am I here to discourage, denounce, or to demote its use. You make that decision. We're going to talk to a few black folks around the Bay Area about this and other issues in our community. We have never honestly answered the race question. And until we have some ongoing dialogue about race, about reparations, institutionalized racism, and all of its ramifications, including interracial marriage and all of that stuff has never been honestly dealt with. Until we deal with it as a society in an open and frank manner, we're still gonna be plagued with racism. What's the name of this cat? Nigga. We get confused between the message and the messenger. It's not the words, it's who uses them and whether or not we're offended by them. And I think, quite frankly, if words are offensive, you probably ought to define the words as offensive more than we ought to be concerned about who, who utters those words. These niggers, they're niggers. 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 If it's ancestral within your own community, you think that's OK? No, because all those terms were created by the dominant culture, and we buy into them. And then we perpetuate them by throwing them back out to the world, coming out of our own mouths, which means that we accept that we have been labeled this. Why? If he sends troops in here and puts a planet behind every one of us, we still will not mix up with a bunch of black savages. So it's the same effect as just on the N-word to me. I'm not sitting up here saying promote the word nigger, but I'm, what I'm saying, it is part of our culture, and we took the word nigger to nigger, which we're now we greet each other as people. So, you know, that's understood. I said, I'm sorry, I'm Benjamin. does not allow us to serve niggers in here. You're not colored. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. So, I want you to go around and ask some of the folks in Oakland and some of the folks where you go get your hair cut out and chop it up in there and see how they feel about this situation. How regular folks, how they view it. Let's how do it. How the community does. You want to do that? Let's do it. Let's do it. Niggas are scared of revolution. But niggas shouldn't be scared of revolution because revolution is nothing but shame. All right, everybody's talking about this racism issue. A lot of people think America has made a lot of progress. From where you stand, and how do you see? Have we made any progress on this race issue? Uh, you know, I mean, it all depends on how you look at it. Um, I mean, of course, there's definitely a problem that's still out there. You know, where, where whites feel like they're still more superior than any other nationality out there. You know, you're gonna have that. But I think what the problem is is I think that we need to start policing our own activity. You know, as far as us as a community, as far as men. As far as women, as far as black people in, in general, really need to stop. I mean, the race card, you can play it all the time. It's there. It's, it's always going to be there. It's been there for all of our lives who are in this barbershop. W.E.B. Du Bois said, the most pressing question facing the human race is the question of color. Man, and in the 21st century, y'all, ain't nothing changed. Yo, man, what are you, man? You sure you're black? You sure both your mama and daddy black? Uh, uh, you must got some Indian in your family. What race are you, man? What race are you? What race are you? Yes, I'm a black man. We have created the N-word as a word of uh, pride in some cases. Uh, we created a class of niggers, if you will, that is a cultural phenomena and not a racial phenomena, uh, whether it's part of the hip-hop generation or just part of people who believe that they need to uh, take a negative word and make it into something positive. Uh, and they take those values and make them into something positive. Uh, and I think Chris Rock has probably done as good a job of describing that phenomena as anyone. You know, I take care of my kids. Uh, you know, uh, I, uh, uh, I got a job. You know, uh, things that we often take for granted 
uh, we now take as something that is extraordinary. It's like a civil war going on with black people, and there's two sides. It's black people, and there's niggas. <laughs> the niggas have got to go. I think that's, again, indicative of a whole uh, uh, delivery system of, um, of, of, of a vocabulary that has created a, a, a class of people that sometimes, again, defines themselves by that vocabulary and by the uh, utilization of, uh, of those words in their, uh, um, in, in not only their value systems, but in their lives. I think we perpetuate that problem by using nigga in our, in our skits. I think the only intellectual person, the only person that intellectually used nigga to work for them was Richard Pryor. Niggas are the best of people that were slaves. You know what I mean? And that's how they got to be niggas. Because they stole the cream of the crop from Africa and brought them over here. And God, as they say, works in mysterious ways. So he made everybody a nigga because we was arguing over in Africa about the Watusi and the Buhayala and the Wachowumo and, you know, the Zawonga, you know. We talk about yeah, in different languages. So he brought us all over here, the best, the kings, the queens, and the princesses, and the princes, you know. You know what I mean? Shit, and put us all together and called one tribe, niggas. I don't think that he just threw the word out to, to make a joke. He threw the word out and he had a reason behind it. Um, but, you know, it's funny sometimes when you say it. You, know, you, can make, you can make a joke funnier if you throw that on the end of it, if the joke is said properly. But that's us as black folks. And I, and I still believe, I don't like that word. I don't think that we add any power to it by taking it on and owning it. I think that we give white people like Michael Richards a reason to say it because we continue to use it. And not only do we continue to use it, we've got other people of color calling themselves that. And if, and if people would just remember that, just because you take the A off of the word does not still make you a nigger. Good morning, nigga. Good morning to you, nigger. Nigger is the word that was used to describe us as ignorant people. I think it was even worse than that before Webster changed it, but in the dictionary, it's considered to be an ignorant person um, of color, a right. uh, black person specifically. So um, just because we put an A on it does not, so what does that mean? You can say do not or you can say don't. Does that not mean that it, it still means not to do something? After the Michael Richards thing, I got called for about a good 10 interviews wow. from newspapers around the country. I was actually on NPR with Paul Mooney where that was the discussion. So Michael Richards calls some uh, uh, calls black folks niggas, and then the debate is should black folks call each other niggas? That's he had a hell of a PR team because they've turned the whole question around. That he got off the hook quick because now we're talking about it as if the reason for him saying that was because black folks say it. There was no connection right. whatsoever between that. 